One of the benefits to using cues to play back your recorded values is that cues are fairly automatic and they have a variety of different ways where you can affect the playback of those cues, especially when it comes to timing. Um, if you remember when we recorded our cues, when we went and pressed our go button and went from Q1 to Q2, we saw the lights change in a time of about five seconds. Well, we all know that sometimes five seconds isn't always perfect, depending on what's happening on stage. So the console gives you the ability to change that time uh, to happen uh, slower or faster than five seconds. Now what we're referring to is, um, like for instance here in our cue list, we have our cue number and a time. And the time that's being displayed here in the time column is the time that it will take for that cue to happen. The way to change that is actually quite simple. Uh, on my keypad, I can go over and I can hit the cue button, and I select the cue number that I want to uh, affect, Q1. And then I can hit my time button, and there's a time button directly above the record button, and I hit time. And now my command prompt is going to change to say enter the upfade time. The console is going to ask you for upfade and downfade times, but for our purposes we're going to use the same time for both, because that's really what we want to do, is we want to direct crossfade from one to the other. Uh, so whatever I pick for my upfade time, let's say instead of five seconds, I now want it to be two seconds. I can hit two, enter. The console will say uh, in the command prompt, enter the downfade time. I hit two again, enter. And now I've completed the command. Here in my cue list, you can see now Q1 is going to take a time of two seconds. So when I hit the go button in my CD fader pair, instead of five seconds, now the cue happened in two seconds. I can also make it um, a lot longer than that. I can actually make the fade almost up to an hour or more if I want to, uh, but that might be a little difficult to see, so for our purposes we'll stick to just a couple of seconds. Another way we can adjust the timing of a cue is by running it in manual operation. Now what this uh, will do is the console will actually allow the operator in real time to adjust how fast the, the cue is going to run. The way I do this is I pull my fader pair my CD fader pair all the way down to the to the lower position. Now this signals to the console that I want to run a cue manually. Now when I press go, you'll see in the playback status display that I have two manual values and a 0% completion. The console is waiting for me, the operator, to complete the cue. I complete the cue by moving the CD faders up. And as they near the top, you'll see that they are slowly approaching 100% complete and when they do uh, uh, reach the top, the cue automatically registers as complete and I am ready to play the next cue, whether it be another manual cue by pulling the fader pair down, or leaving the fader pair up and hitting the go button again and running that cue in the predetermined time. Uh, so those are the two various ways that you can affect timing of cues being played back on the Express Console.